Great. Thor Heyerdahl. Thor Heyerdahl was a Norwegian explorer, adventurer and anthropologist that was born on the 6th of October 1914 in Larvik, in the south of Norway. He was the son of Thor Heyerdahl and Alison Lai. At Oslo University he studied biology and geography, specializing in Polynesian anthropology investigating the migration routes of Polynesian Marquesas and islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. He made publications in National Geographic and in International Science. In that age, Thor suffered from aquaphobia and didn't even know how to swim whatsoever. During the Second World War, he enlisted in the Norwegian Paratroopers Unit of the Allied Forces. Along with the intention of demonstrating that the natives of South America could have migrated to the Pacific Islands, in 1947, with a small group of companions, Nut Hogland, Bent Danielson, Eric Heselberg, Torsten Ravi, and last but not least Hermann Watzinger, they set off sailing the 6,920 kilometers from the harbor of Callao in Peru to the Tuamotas Island in Polynesia on a journey that lasted 101 days in a raft called Contiki, which had been built with logs, plants and natural materials from South America. Materials which could easily have been used by ancient Peruvians. The only piece of modern technology that was used by the team was for communication purposes. As the raft smashed into the reefs of the Tuamotas island, the expedition proved that the inhabitants of South America could have traveled from the mainland to the Polynesian islands using just a raft and maritime current, even perhaps using fish which gathered in between the logs of Heyerdahl's raft as a source of hydration, accounting for the absence of fresh water. Nevertheless, based on physical, genetic and linguistic evidence, most anthropologists still believe these remote islands were settled on by people coming from the west rather than the east, perhaps migrating from Asia. Thor and his team's expedition was thrust into the limelight as Heyerdahl's book became a bestseller and also in 1951 as the documentary won an Academy Award. A more dramatized version was also released in 2012, receiving nominations in the Best Foreign Language Film at the Academy Awards, as well as at the Golden Globes. Following the success of the Contiki expedition, Thor made a few other expeditions. To the Galapagos Islands in 1952, the team traveling there was the first to make excavations and their findings suggested that the Incas might not have been the first to arrive to Galapagos. Later they ventured out to Easter Island in the Eastern Pacific, which brought a more detailed theory of the island's history. According to Heyerdahl's beliefs, something occurred between the island's discovery by Admiral Rockwell in 1722 and the visit of the much-traveled Yorkshireman James Cook in 1774. Rogovine encountered on his discovery white Indian and Polynesian people living in harmony and even prosperity. However, Cook stumbled upon a much smaller population consisting of mainly Polynesians living in privation. Heyerdahl's theory talks of an uprising of short ears against the ruling long ears. He speaks of a defensive moat being dug by the long ears and filled with kindling and firewood. During the uprising and whilst under attack, the long ears ignited the moat and retreated behind it for protection. But the blaze didn't keep out the short ears and they found a way around the moat and pushed all but two of the long ears into the blazing fire. The moat was found by the Norwegian expedition. Evidence of fire was also found, but no fragments of bodies were found. Another mind-boggling expedition was planned this time with the intention of proving that Egyptians could have reached the American coast and founded the Aztecan and Incan civilizations some 4,000 years ago. 
From Morocco, the boat, based on drawings from ancient Egypt and this time made of papyrus and named Ra after the Egyptian sun god, the boat set sail with a multinational, multiracial crew of seven with different religious and political views. The first attempt though failed when water came aboard causing the boat to sag and break apart after venturing 6,440 kilometers. The same expedition was tried a second time a year later. With only a couple of changes to the crew, the papyrus boat set sail from Morocco. A few weeks into the journey, the boat was lost and was subject to a search and rescue mission by the United Nations. The search was unsuccessful, despite worldwide help. But the boat showed up anyway, after 57 days and 6,100 kilometers, in Bridgetown, Barbados. An extraordinary feat. Thor Heyerdahl died in Colamicere, Italy, at the age of 88. It would be rather difficult to find someone who faced their fears with the boldness and bravery that Thor did. His last 10 years were spent living in a modest house in Tenerife. He was awarded a state funeral in Norway.